Consumer Financial Protection Bureau Director Mick Mulvaney made headlines this week with his blunt confirmation of what we all suspected was true in the D.C. swamp. Talking about his time in Congress, he said, If you're a lobbyist who never gave us money, I didn't talk to you. If you're a lobbyist who gave us money, I might talk to you. Since then, an investigation by the Daily Beast has revealed that Mulvaney's still at it, even with his powerful new job in the White House. At least eight registered lobbyists and six other executives who donated to his congressional campaigns or whose companies' political action committees donated to him got a meeting with Mulvaney after he became budget director. Now, of course, that's outrageous. It totally undermines the president's drain the swamp agenda, and it needs to stop. Unsurprisingly, many people got on the Mick Mulvaney bashing bandwagon this week. Among them was Democratic Senator from Pennsylvania, Bob Casey. He tweeted, this is supposed to be a government by the people for the people, not a government of the thieves and money changers. Mick Mulvaney is a disgrace. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of agree. And obviously, Senator Bob Casey would never issue such a thundering denunciation of Mick Mulvaney's lobbyist ties if he himself took money from lobbyists, would he? I mean, that would be so shamelessly hypocritical. It's too much, even for the swamp. But we just thought we'd check, you know, to be safe. Senator Bob Casey is this week's Swamp Watch. As we just showed you, Senator Casey raged against Mick Mulvaney over donations from lobbyists. We'll get to that in a moment. But here's a little appetizer for you. The first thing you notice when looking for Bob Casey's ties to the swamp is the way his staffers spin round Washington's corrupt revolving door. Nathan Steinwald was a legislative assistant for Casey from 2007 to 2009 before joining Sternhell Group as a lobbyist in 2013. Sternhell Group has brought in more than $8 million in lobbying contracts since Steinwald joined, including for finance and healthcare or pharmaceutical companies. That's handy, given Bob Casey's membership of the Senate Finance Committee and the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. Another Casey staffer named Jared Solomon served as vice president of budget policy at an advocacy group called First Focus from 2011 to 2014. Solomon left that job to work as a legislative assistant for Senator Casey for four years, and then he left Senator Casey to become a lobbyist for Bose Public Affairs Group. His clients have included the American Indian Higher Education Consortium and the Coalition of Higher Education Assistance Organizations. Of course, he lobbied for education interests. His former boss serves on the Senate committee that oversees education policy. That's how it all works in the swamp. And then there's Casey Gillette, a former Casey staffer, who's been through the revolving door so many times, I don't know how she's not dizzy. She started as a staffer for Senator Bob Graham in 2000 before leaving to become the Assistant Director of Government Relations at the National Audubon Society in 2004. The next year, she went back to Washington, working for Senators Debbie Stabenow, Bob Casey, and Harry Reid. In Harry Reid's office, she worked as his policy advisor for agriculture. So, of course... She left that job to become a lobbyist for Monsanto. Don't you love the way Bob Casey attacks Mulvaney over lobbying when so many of his own staffers are cashing in on their experience in his office to peddle influence on K Street? But hang on a second, you might say those are just his staffers. Senator Casey himself isn't part of the swamp. He's obviously clean as a whistle. Otherwise, he'd never have called Mick Mulvaney a disgrace, would he? Would he? Take a look at this chart. It shows the business sectors that have donated to Senator Casey's campaign since 2013. Two of the sectors with the highest donations are industries he specifically regulates as part of his committee assignments, including $1.58 million from the finance, insurance and real estate sector and $1.22 million from the health sector. But, you may say, that's just what goes on in Congress. We know it's all basically corrupt. Senator Casey was incensed about something much more specific. Donations from lobbyists. There's no way he'd go on the war path about donations from lobbyists if he actually did the same thing, would he? Oh, look. According to the Center for Responsive Politics, on April the 25th, 2017, Senator Casey took a $2,700 donation from Ben Barnes, a lobbyist. On June the 14th, 2017, he took a $2,500 donation from David Castagnetti, another lobbyist. And on March the 20th, 2017, he took $500 from the Podesta Group. No need to tell you what they did for a living. Casey took money from Alpine Group, a lobbying firm whose clients include pharmaceutical giant Amgen and healthcare giant Centene Corporation, both directly affected by the Senate Health Committee, which Casey serves on. 
He took money from Capital Tax Partners, a lobbying firm whose clients include the National Council of Pharma Co-ops, who just might be interested in the fact that Senator Casey serves on the Agriculture, Nutrition and Forestry Committee. He also took money from Capital Council, which lobbies for amalgamated bank. Bob Casey is on the Senate Finance Committee. All told, sanctimonious, holier-than-thou Senator Casey took 198 donations from 136 lobbyists just in the 2018 election cycle. Here are their names scrolling on the screen. This giant hypocrite, so eager to jump down Mick Mulvaney's throat for taking money from lobbyists, himself took $177,000 from lobbyists in the 2018 election cycle. $82,000 from lobbyists in the 2016 cycle and $293,000 from lobbyists in the 2012 cycle. It all adds up to a grand total of more than $675,000 from lobbyists in his Senate career. Who knows what favours he did in exchange for all that cash? Well, we want to find out. And so we'll be submitting a freedom of information request to see who he and his staff have met with and what was discussed. We invited Senator Casey to come on the show and answer to you for all this. But he turned down our offer and instead gave us this statement. Mick Mulvaney admitted to selling access to him and his office in exchange for donations, while Senator Casey is working to pass the reforms that will get money out of politics. The difference could not be clearer. Notice that he doesn't deny selling access to him and his office. Senator Casey, you are the disgrace. You preach about getting money out of politics while pocketing hundreds of thousands of dollars from lobbyists and millions of dollars from industries that you regulate. You make me sick, and the sooner you're kicked out, the better.